You love blazers. You love jeans. So jeans and a blazer would look awesome together, right? Well, not always. You see, there are some important rules you need to follow in order to make this combination actually work. Not to worry, gents. Thomas with Real Men Real Style here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to rock jeans with a blazer. So to start off, let's cover the ground rules you need to pull off this combination. Rule number one, choose the right jacket. You're pairing something formal, your blazer, with something casual, your jeans. The greater the contrast in formality, the more jarring it will be. Disgusting! For this reason, you want to avoid mixing a formal suit jacket with jeans. The worsted wool fabric will jump out too much next to the casual denim material. Choose blazers and sports jackets that have textures or patterns in the fabric that make them more casual. For example, this jacket here is a classic navy blazer, but the texture of the hopsack fabric brings down the formality, so it works just fine with jeans. Also look for style details that bring down the formality of the jacket, like patch pockets instead of flap pockets. As well, stick with a single-breasted jacket. A double-breasted jacket is more formal in nature and doesn't play well with jeans. Rule number two, choose the right jeans. The second half of this equation is pairing the right jeans with your jacket. Just as you want to go with a more casual jacket, you want to choose a more formal pair of jeans. So skip the holes, avoid jeans that are weathered and distressed. Stick with a pair in a solid color. A dark indigo wash really dresses up the look of your jeans. But don't be afraid to pull in other solid colors as well. White, gray, even red are all colors that can work well with a blazer jacket. And don't forget to pay attention to the fit. A good slim or tapered fit will look more refined than a relaxed or baggy fit. Rule number three, don't forget the shirt. Just like the jacket, you want to avoid bringing in shirts that are too formal. Traditional dress shirts are usually made from a smooth material with a slight sheen. Instead, you want to go with a casual button down that has texture in the fabric. It's subtle, but that little bit of texture makes a huge difference. Also, don't be afraid to have fun with patterns. Rule number four, skip the necktie. The necktie is one of the most formal pieces of menswear. It simply looks too buttoned up when worn with a blazer and jeans. If you enjoy being more fashion forward, you can try this look, but try to stick with more casual styles like a wool or knitted tie. Steer clear of formal silk neckties. Rule number five, wear a belt. Normally you can skip the belt when wearing jeans, but when paired with a blazer, you really need the belt to tie the outfit together. It just looks incomplete without it. Now that you know the rules, here are a few outfit combinations for inspiration. Outfit number one, the classic. For this look, I went with a traditional navy blazer with brass buttons and a hop sack fabric. I matched it with a pair of slim fit denim and a dark indigo wash. The shirt is a white Oxford button down. I then added a wool houndstooth pattern pocket square in a puff fold. For the belt, I went with a dark brown leather with a gold buckle, then added a simple dress watch with a white dial and brown leather strap. The shoes are half brogues in a dark brown leather in a balmoral design. With a blazer and jeans combination, I think this is as formal as you want to go with your footwear. Outfit number two, going rugged. For the second outfit, I switched out the blazer for a tweed sport coat in a herringbone pattern. Again, the jeans are a dark wash denim, but I cuffed them this time for a more rugged aesthetic. The shirt is a casual button down with a dotted pattern, and I went with a blue cotton pocket square in a two point fold. The belt is a dark brown leather with a silver buckle, and I chose a chronograph with a brown dial and a leather strap for the watch. Keeping with the rugged look, the outfit is rounded out with a pair of medium brown chukka boots. Outfit number three, keeping it cool. This is a great look for summer. First up is the navy blazer. Some notable style details include contrasting brown buttons and a ticket pocket. The jeans are white, which contrasts nicely with the jacket. The shirt has a light blue and white check pattern, which helps keep the look relaxed. For accessories, I started with a simple white pocket square in a presidential fold, then added a stainless steel dive watch. The belt has an oxblood leather strap with a silver buckle. Finishing it up, for footwear, I chose a pair of oxblood long wing brogues. Outfit number four, weekend vibes. This fourth look is focused on keeping everything nice and casual. The jacket is a lightweight linen cotton blend with a subtle houndstooth pattern. The sleeves are rolled up for a relaxed, laid back look. For jeans, I brought back that pair of dark wash denim in a slim fit. The shirt is a navy button down with a subtle dot pattern. Next, I have the green silk pocket square with a polka dot pattern in a Marshall fold. Additional accessories include a dive style watch with a blue silicone band and a light brown leather belt with a gunmetal buckle. 
The outfit finishes off with a pair of light brown quarter brogues. Outfit number five, casual Friday. We're back to the navy blazer. This one made from a cotton linen blend. The texture of the fabric keeps this one more casual than the blazers I showed you earlier. The wash on the jeans still leans slightly dark, but isn't quite as deep as the other pairs. The shirt has a white and gray gingham pattern, and for a pop of color, I added a red pocket square and a relaxed presidential fold. The watch is a chronograph with a blue dial and brown leather strap. For the belt, I went with a casual leather and dark brown. Finishing off with the footwear, we have a pair of dark brown saddle shoes and a mix of leather and suede. So you know how to look amazing wearing a blazer with jeans, but what's the secret to killing it when you're wearing a t-shirt with jeans? Check out this video right here, gents. Seven awesome t-shirt and jean combinations.